Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in the process of making a couple of different videos. One of them is going to be a tour of our home. Hopefully within a week or so I'm going to have that posted. In the meantime, I just thought I'd give you a quick update and a partial explanation about why I haven't had a video up yet. And, well, as the title of the video said, I had a little fun and wound up at the emergency room, but more on that later. It's been an interesting couple of weeks. Mostly, you know, it's, it's a lot of the same, but at certain points, both Pam and I haven't been feeling good. We're still trying to arrange things, so when we do the home video, our home isn't going to look like a hurricane blew through it. Oh, there have been some really breezy nights lately. What was that? Oh, she's listening to a video. Yes. What was the name of that hurricane that blew through here? The one that actually didn't blow through here. Oh. Well. Catherine? No. K. Yeah, K. Agent K. No, that's uh, Men in Black. Hurricane K went into somewhere down south of us. And we got all sorts of weather warnings about high winds and a lot of rain. And basically all it did is sprinkle enough to make our car look dirtier and send a gentle breeze through our open windows. And yeah, we had our windows open during a hurricane because I just wanted to see it better. It wasn't a hurricane. It was typical Southern California um, sprinkles. Anyway, I have been to the doctor a couple of times. I don't know if I've said any of this, but she referred me to a general surgeon because I've apparently had an umbilical hernia since February because one of the signs of an umbilical hernia is blood in the navel. And I've had a bloody navel. Like, isn't that a draw? Oh, she has her headphones on again. Never mind. No, it's fuzzy navel. Wait. If you combine a Bloody Mary with a fuzzy navel, you could have a bloody navel. Anyway, um, just ignore that. I do. And so does Pam. That's why she has her headphones on. Anyway, about a week ago, about a week and a half ago, I just, like, just really suddenly felt exhausted. Like, I could sleep all day. In fact, one time I slept... 10 hours overnight, went and ate breakfast and wanted to sleep again, and <laughs> still suffering from some of it, not quite as bad. I hope it doesn't come back and when I'm knock on wood. Gonna knock on wood. It gets boring, so I've been remembering a lot of song lyrics. And to Pam's dismay, I've been singing a lot of song lyrics and sticking them in her head. She doesn't like it when I sing. Sing a song. Okay, sorry. Because it gets the song stuck in her head. Anyway, what was I? Oh, brain fog. You know, the, the, the brain fog is still there. It's not as bad. You know, it's kind of funny, but on the other hand, horribly frustrating that entire song lyrics pop into my head. And the word that I am looking for gets stuck. You know, it's almost like an aphasia where I try to say the word, it just doesn't come out. Sometimes... The word is just blocked and I can't see it. Sometimes it's, you know, I can't say it. Where I'm trying to, the first sound comes out. And it is horribly frustrating. And you add that with the fatigue. It really made me feel bad. And then there was the worse than usual coordination. And, you know, they say you are what you eat but I do not remember eating klutz. 
Okay. So, 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 what was I saying? After three days, four days of that, I called the doctor's office. My doctor was on vacation and I asked to talk to the different, the doctor who would be there for the on-call doctor. With, with my past insurance, before going to the emergency room, I had to talk to the doctor. And it turns out that I could have just gone to the emergency room. So I go to the emergency room and I give my insurance card and they told me to sit in the waiting room. I got called back to the triage area. I gave my symptoms. They took my vitals. They took a blood sample. They actually gave me uh, an injection version of the migraine ma 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 stuff I take orally and then sent back to the waiting room. Oh my God, I've been babbling for 12 minutes already. Jesus, please. This video has been edited quite a bit. So when you, you see me sitting here and I'm suddenly over here, it's because I'm chopping out as much as I can because I don't want this to be like a 20 minute video with me rambling. And if I keep rambling, it's gonna be 20 minutes anyway. I felt absolutely horrible and sitting in the waiting room was just making it worse. And all the sounds, the TV on, the people talking, the door opening and closing, it was not only sensory overload, but it was just, it cranked my migraine up to an eight and a half, nine. It was horrible. They did a CAT scan and then I was sent back to the emergency room waiting. So I sat there even longer as it got noisier and noisier. And I thought my head was going to explode. So they finally called me back to a room where when the doctor asked, how's your migraine? And I can't f***ing, oh, excuse me, it's blooky worse. Samuel L. Jackson, if you're watching, yeah, you caught me saying a cuss word. Oh, mother f***. Um, they gave me um, Benadryl, which is supposed to help with migraines somehow. The Benadryl helped me fall asleep. And the pattern with me is I sleep. When I wake up, I feel a little better, but it only takes a little while for the brain fog to come back and the migraine to get worse. And then the fatigue sets in. I'm at 15 minutes, so I need to stop. Long story long, uh, it, it was horrible. And going to the ER didn't actually help because the very next day when I woke up, I went through the exact same process. The only thing that's really changed is the brain fog isn't quite as intense and the fatigue doesn't hit me as quickly, but I still feel like I need to take a nap during the day. So anyway, I have talked far too long. I just wanted to give you an update. Like I said, I'm hoping the next video is maybe a week away. Pam didn't tell me that home renovation videos were really, really popular. Or at least I think they're popular. I don't know if she likes watching them. Uh, so a lot of the renovations we've done, I haven't videoed, but we have a very important renovation coming up. So I'm gonna make sure I get that on video, on the same video that I give you a tour. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too. And I think that's it. I'm at 16 minutes and two seconds, five seconds, seven seconds. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how short I can make this. Other than that, I'll see you next week or whenever I finally get that video posted. I'm hoping next week won't be another update, but I just wanted to let you guys know why I haven't been doing anything and it's because I couldn't possibly concentrate. I'll talk to you again later. Take care. Bye-bye.